have a limited number of resources on the planet Earth. And we're not the only organisms that use those resources. If you just sit back and you, you look at the big picture, we only have this one planet with one set of resources on it. The climate of the, of the whole Earth is in the process of changing uh, dramatically as a result of um, human industrial civilization. As we use things, we create wastes, we take things away from other organisms, and there's a balance in place. And when we do things to upset that balance, it has effects not just on other organisms, but on us as well. On the life that people and all other creatures on Earth lead than anything else that's going on right now. The matter of sustainability is really the central issue of, of our time. So even if you don't want to go out and study science, you need to understand a little bit about how the world works so that you can be informed and so that you can be making smart decisions, thinking about your decisions. And unless we sit down and we actually talk about those things and make people aware of those things, that's a problem. How can we, how can we make a change? not just in what we're doing, but what in, in what our whole community is doing. So something like a composting program could actually provide a blueprint for decreasing the amount of waste that goes into an incinerator or into a recycling bin or into a landfill. To raise awareness uh, among, among the student body. This is the time of life in which uh, young people are forming their habits that are going to guide them in their adult lives, and so it's an important time to be raising, uh, raising their environmental awareness and teaching them the basics of various environmentally friendly practices that they can then employ for the rest of their lives, I hope. Do you know what composting is? I don't know a lot about it, to be honest with you. I don't really know what composting is. I've heard of it, but I just no, don't exactly know what it is. So they don't really put the extra energy to find out? People really kind of put their priorities in different directions and don't think that our environment is actually should be one of our priorities and could affect our future. Oh, I think my aunt does this. Um, actually, as a kid, we used to compost my family. I compost at home for my garden. I love egg sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tay, what are you going to do with those fruit peels? Um, I don't know. Probably put them on my tray and throw them away, like always. No. It's composting Thursdays. Composting? Composting. What's that? I'm glad you asked. Let's go. <laughs> Pile. So we take all of our fruits and vegetable peels every Thursday and we bring them to this pile 
and you just dump it on the ground and you add some leaves and some wood chips and you turn it every once in a while and you're good to go. That's so simple. It's so simple and so easy. Why doesn't everyone do this then? That's a good question. So how can I help? Hey, let me show you. So every Thursday we're gonna have these bright yellow bins right outside the tray return. And all you have to do after you're done eating your vegetable and fruit is scrape them into the yellow bin. Here, you wanna give it a try? Oh, I'd love to. 